Okay, this video is going to take a look at the BrightBite survey data that we recently completed. And uh, you're going to want to first uh, have looked in your inbox, and you might have done this last week when Paul sent an email out that invited you to log in to clarity.brightbytes.net or the website for the, the survey data. If you haven't done that yet, go ahead and look in your inbox for, for an email from Paul that has to do with BrightBytes. And that is probably the email that will allow you to set up your account. Once you've set up your account, then you can navigate to clarity.brightbytes.net. So I'll do that now. And once I get there, provided you've already set up your account, it won't look like this. Let me back up. It's logging me in automatically because I've been there so many times. You're going to come to this screen right here if you haven't been into it yet. And you're going to want to sign in with Google. This is your Salinas Union High School District Google account, so I'll select that. And then once I'm in, it's going to drop me into the Clarity homepage, or the BrightBytes homepage for Clarity. And where we want to go is we want to look at the data, so we're going to click on Data. And there is just a wealth of information here. There is just so much. And this video is just going to skim the surface. It's just, it's just going to help you get started. And so it's nothing, it's nothing beyond that. So I drive dropped into this dashboard. No, you'll notice right away we've got a score. This is the district score for uh, the integration of technology in our in our schools. And this is a number that BrightBytes has created. It's between 800 to 1300. The orange the orange color that you see here indicates that, according to BrightBytes, we are proficient integrators of technology into our schools. And then they have some domains that make up this score. And they, they call this the case framework. It stands for classroom, access, skills, and environment. And you can see within each one of these, these are also color coded. So red is emerging, green is proficient, and orange, excuse me, green is advanced, and orange is proficient. There's also a gray, which is beginning. You can see I just automatically, I accidentally clicked into environment. Let's go back to the data. And so the gray, which we don't see here, the gray stands for um, beginning, and blue, which we'll see some blue. In fact, we can see it down here with teacher access at home. Blue stands for outstanding or excellent, or I think it's actually exemplary. And if you wanted to get some more specifics, you click on that I right there, and it tells you a little bit about the score. So you can see beginning is gray, blue is exemplary. So that's a little bit about the scoring. Now. If we can click into each one of these domains within this case framework to dive deeper into the data. Before we do that, though, I want to draw your attention to some of the icons over here. Notice that there's this map view. If I click on this map view, this is going to give me uh, a map of all the schools, and it's going to give me a little snapshot score for each one of our each one of our sites. If I click on that, so that's kind of neat. And then there's also the list view. The list view does the same thing. It puts it in. A, it does the same thing as a map. Basically, it gives a little bit more detail and it puts uh, the schools in a table. And then this is really important, and this is probably what, what you're probably going to want to use quite a bit, and that's the filter. Notice I can filter by school. So that's probably very pertinent for you as you look into the data that is uh, indicative of where your school's at in regards to technology according to BrightBytes. So let's go back to the data, clicking back on that data page. Um, and again, you've been made aware of that filter. You're going to want to use that a lot. But again, we're back at looking at the district as a whole. And we're going to click on just one of these domains. I'm going to ask that you look at these domains individually later and make some conclusions about what you find there or, or draw some action steps from that. Right now, I'm going to click on Access just, just to show you what's available. Before I do that, though, take a look at some of these. Uh, these are sub indicators or indicators within access that help derive the score that is recorded here for access. Notice that within access there's access at school and there's access at home and there's some information about teachers and students for each one of these. So let's focus on access at home for students. So if I click on that it's going to drop me into the domain for access. I'm going to have each one of those indicators. You can see here are the four indicators for that. Teachers at school, teachers students at school, teachers at home, students at home. And I've got that little score mark that we saw back on that dashboard page over here represented again. 
And then I've got a little light bulb over here. These are the insights. We're going to talk about these here in a moment. Before I do that, though, let's take a look at um, take a look at one of these indicators: students at home. Notice if I click, if I hover over this, it changes colors to blue to blue, indicating it's a hyperlink. And if I click on that, it's going to give me some even um, more specific information that has to do with student access at home. So now we have student access to computers at home. We have different types of computers and internet and wireless. This was interesting for me. So let's take a look at this. St student access to internet and wireless at home for students within our district. By the way, I believe over 7,000 students were polled within our district, which I think is more than half. And of those, 87% responded that they have access to internet and wireless at home. And from that number of 80, from that 87, 87%, the far and away the broader the biggest majority had access wi-fi access or wireless internet access notice that i can if i if i'm preparing a presentation i can save this chart as an image and i can so i can paste it into a document or perhaps a, a presentation also i can compare this data so let's say i i I hover over this plus mark and i want to compare it to teachers so remember this is access access at home and I've gotten this other bar that showed it up showed up here, and that is teacher access. And it says right here, teachers are the stripes, and that shows 97% of our teachers have access at home, whereas 87% of our students do. I can also compare that to California. And that's interesting. So in California, when we take a look at California, and we take a look at the Salinas Union High School District, notice that we're pretty close within four percentage points of each other. Okay, so that's student access at home. Notice also up here at the top, we've got these breadcrumbs that show us it goes from broad to, to, to uh, the dashboard to the domain of access to the indicator of students at home, and then we have the sub, sub indicator we're looking at right now. So if we wanted to back up, we'd go to students at home, and it's going to show us kind of that after we click into that domain. And if we want to go back to the dashboard, It'll drop us back into this page here. And one more thing I wanted to show you about this. Something that's really interesting are the insights. And so I'm going to do that now by looking at um, the, the classroom domain. So I'll click on that. In the classroom domain, you can see this, this four C's here. The four C's stand for creativity, collaboration, critical thinking, and communication. And if I wanted to, let's see, I wanted to dive in. You can see for the district, this is the lowest scoring item. Again, I have these, um, these subdomains in here, which I can derive more information from. But then there's this really interesting insight light bulb right here. So if I click on that, this is where I can go in and perhaps start um, looking at some examples of actions that I can do at my site or that I can do in the district in this case to uh, in to improve this area. I've got a table over here that um, gives me some, that I, if I click on it, I get some information about this area. Notice there's, there's this thing called quick wins. Quick wins are things I can do quickly to make a change in this area. Game changers are more uh, broader initiatives or examples of initiatives that will change this particular area and, and make improvement here. There's also some innovators. Innovators are examples of individuals who have um, done great work in this area. All right, now that you've got an overview of some of the basic features that are w available within the Clarity data set or the BrightBytes data set, uh, now's, time, now's the time to look into data from your own particular site. So to do that, I'm going back to the uh, data dashboard. Right now I'm looking at the district. And again, the filtering button's right over here. If you click on that, you can now um, look at data specific to your site. So for example, I'm gonna choose La Paz here. And I'll save that. And you can see it changes to match the data that is reflective, uh, reflected from the La Paz surveys that went out for teachers and students. And then from within, um, from within your site, I encourage you to look at the um, look at any areas of interest here, whether it be in any one of these domains. And if you find a domain of interest, for example, the environment, you can look into uh, what makes up the scores for these individual indicators. So if you want to look at um, policies and procedures, teacher frequency of technology discussions, for example, you can get some 
metrics around these indicators that may or may not be interesting. And then from this, um, you can see again, you can see the citation and why this is important. And you can see some things that are specific to your site. You can compare this to the district. You can compare this to district numbers. You can compare it to California numbers, for example. So go ahead and take a look at that. Then once you've done that, choose a particular area that uh, you would like to investigate ways in which you can make a difference for your school site. So uh, we've already looked at the innovators, we've looked at uh, the quick wins and the game changers. So again, select one area and within that area, see what kinds of examples you can find that will make, could potentially make a difference at your site. All right, if you have any questions about this survey and you want, or you want to have a further conversation about it, please feel free to, to contact um, Paul or myself or Steve, and uh, we can facilitate that for you. Thanks.